Okay, so now we're at the end of history and there's been a whole lot of talk about the human ego. Ooh, don't be your ego and ego dissolution and blah blah blah. All this talk about the ego. Well, if everyone's done now, we can go to the end state, which is, you know, going to come from the shaman at the end, before you babies are done now. So what we need to do, and all the shamans unanimously agree with me, is, you know, you bring your ego up into the trips, but you also, on the way down, or a down-dimensional view, need to consciously be your ego. Not get rid of it, but you need to consciously be your ego, otherwise you're unconsciously your ego, and that's where the problems begin in the unconscious ego. So the idea, just like you raise your ego into a psychedelic trip, we're going to reverse this now on the way down, the looking down, down dimensional creation, which is how creation occurs. You want a conscious ego. And so this is where it's at. This is called making the ego porous. Not getting rid of the ego, but making the ego porous. To the higher parts of yourself so to speak because we still need the ego we can't get rid of it it's how we know whose mouth to put the spoon in at night so my point is to make it conscious here's an example you know you're gonna eat so to speak you're gonna eat something at some point so you can organize that and make a conscious meal. That's one example. 